In Burp Suite Enterprise Edition, you create sites to represent any websites or web applications that you want to scan. An onboarding wizard helps you to add your first site and then run a scan. We've provided a live, deliberately vulnerable website for you to scan so that you can follow along with this tutorial. The first step of the onboarding wizard prompts you to add your first site. Start by giving it a name. This can be anything you like, but let's go with Portswigger Labs for this example. The site URL is the URL from which all scans of this site start. Any subpaths of the URL are included in the scope of the scan by default. Enter portswigger-labs.net. This is a demo website with a few intentional vulnerabilities. Using BEP Scanner may have unexpected effects on some applications. Until you are fully familiar with its functionality and settings, you should only run scans against non-production systems. Do not run scans against third-party websites unless you've been authorized to do so by the owner. For the scan configuration, you can choose from four preset modes that let you adjust the balance of speed and coverage. For this scan, let's select lightweight. The lightweight mode completes in 15 minutes. Leave all other options as their defaults and click next. Create a scan. You're now presented with various options for scheduling and configuring a scan of a site. Leave all of the options as their defaults and click finish. This schedules a one-off scan to run immediately. To monitor the scan's progress, select scans from the main navigation bar at the top of the screen. You can then see your scan and some basic information about it, including the current status. A minute or two after the scan begins running, color-coded icons appear in the issues column. These indicate the number of security issues found by the scan for different severity levels. You can click on the individual scan to view more detail. On the issues tab, you can monitor which issues are discovered in real time. We'll look closer at this tab in the next tutorial once the scan is finished. This should only take about five minutes.